All right. Hello again, Ned Adventures, and welcome to another exciting daily vlog. This is daily vlog number 211. And uh, today, uh, we're going to start it all over again. Uh, I need a drink. Uh... So, um, a little while ago, a couple months ago, um, Boom Studios uh, announced that they were ending their Mighty Morphin Power Rangers comic series. Um, for anyone that doesn't know, Boom Studios has been producing uh, a Mighty Morphin Power Rangers comic series since, I want to say it's like 2016. It's been going on for a while. Um, in fact, I'm even going to look it up because I can't remember. Uh, to see. There it goes. So yeah, it started in 2016. Um. And, uh. In, I want to say, I'm going to say in like April or March, earlier the, 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 this year, they announced that that particular run was ending. And it did end. Uh, I think the final issue of it came out this past week. Um, and the thing about the Boom Studios Power Rangers comic run uh, has been uh, the fact that that unlike like they had some power rangers comics earlier i think in like the, the the late 90s they had some power rangers comics but they were mostly just novelties they weren't really meant to be their own comic series they were they were really just there to kind of capitalize on the power ranger fifa fandom which was massive in the 90s um the boom studios uh comic run they wanted to tell an actual story and it was technically a reboot of mighty morphin peppa power rangers um and a retelling of that as a story but uh the people that were writing it and all the creative teams that were a part of it really had a strong love for the source material and it's because of the Boom Studio comics that we actually got to learn about a lot of things that are just never explained in the TV show because they never had time to do it. Things like um, the, uh, uh, the fact that Rita and her brother Rito look nothing nice alike. Rita is uh, human as far as we can tell. Uh, when the Z-Wave uh, uh, hits at the end of Power Rangers in Space... She turns into just a full-blown human. Um, while as Rito is this weird skeleton monster th 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 thing, and how are they siblings? And uh, Rita's f -f father's Master Vile, who is a demon-looking th 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 thing. And so the Boom Studio comics, not only did they get to tell their own stories, which are really interesting, the Shattered Grid arc i have the hardcover of it like right over there um the shattered grid arc uh kind of rewrote what power rangers was and actually inspired a crossover episode in ninja steel where instead of fighting lord dracon they fought lord draven uh uh who is going through the various different versions of the power rangers universe and stealing rangers to create his robot army which is not that far off from what Lord Draken did. did, 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 did. Um, and then they had other things like uh, the Omega Rangers. Um, if you're not familiar with the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, um, shortly after season two started, um, first things first, uh, Power Rangers was non-union for like 15 years or something like that, 15 or 20 years. Um, so uh, they didn't have to follow uh screen actors guild or at that time it would have been the uh american federation of television actors uh so aftra 
um, they didn't have to, to follow their rules. And because of that, uh, the actors themselves were paid shit. Like they were, uh, I think they made something like 600 bucks a week on literally the most popular uh, children's television show um, of the decade. Um, I've, I've mentioned this before. They had, uh, when they did Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie, they had a meet and greet or something. Some, some event in Los Angeles. It shut the city down. It was so popular, it shut down the city because... Um, Traffic was so bad from everybody trying to get, get in there that it just locked down the entire city. Um, uh, and so what ended up happening was uh, Austin St. John, um, Walter Manuel Jones, and Toy Trang um, decided that uh, they were going to hold out on signing new contracts to try to negotiate for better pay. Um, and there's been lots of kind of rumors and, and everybody has told their own story about what actually happened b b b behind the scenes. Um, but the one that I think probably makes the most sense to me is in addition to those three, um, the rest of the actors had kind of all agreed to stick together at one point and then... Some of them got c -c 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 cold feet, and uh, it turned into just Austin St. John, who played Jason, Walter Manuel Jones, who played Zach, and Toy Trang, who played Trini, um, kind of putting their foot in the sand and going, no, we're not going to return uh, unless you pay us more money, because they were making just shit tons of money off this franchise. Uh, and so what ended up happening is they were all just fired immediately. Um, if you watch uh, after the first couple episodes of season two of Mighty Morphin P -P Power Rangers, you will notice that as much as Jason, Trini, and Zack are there, they don't seem to be there. Like, there's a lot of back shots. There's a lot of, like, weird overdubs of stuff, and a lot of the footage looks very familiar. Effectively, what they did was as soon as they realized that they weren't going to be able, uh, they were firing these people instead of waiting to get rid of them until they could write them out of the script. They just fired them immediately and used doubles and reused old footage and, and stuff like that to do stuff until they could replace them with Johnny Young Bosch, Steve Cardenas, and I can't remember Ashley's actor's name, but the Ashley, the yellow Ranger. Um, and, uh, yeah, so the way that they explained it in the show was they went off to a uh, uh, they went off to a peace conference, uh, and then yeah, we never uh, uh, we never see uh, Walter Manuel Jones or Toy Train again in uh, Papa Power Rangers until once and always when Zach comes back, and I think Walter actually did some voiceover work eventually for Saban as well, but he never shows up back. Uh, and Austin St. John comes back in Zeo uh, to play the Gold Ranger for the last part of Zeo. Anyway, so that was what it was explained in the show. In the Boom comics, they actually go and they explain... It was such a weird thing that these Power Rangers would just go, well, we're going to a peace conference and then you'll never see us again. Uh, and so they actually explained that the Peace Conference was a cover, uh, and they actually went into space and became the Omega Rangers, which is a really, really cool thing. Um, so the Boom Studio comics in and of itself uh, was really, really good. And um, I was really, really upset to hear that it was ending, because we've got, in addition to the Omega Rangers, we got things like we had to find out the origins of Zordon and Lord Zed, uh, and the connection that those two had. They finally explained who the Phantom Ranger w w was. There was originally going to be a plot in, I think, Power Rangers in Space, where they were going to explain who the Phantom Ranger was, but it just never made it. And so there was always this weird thing of, well, who the hell is this Phantom Ranger? Um, they explain where he k k k k comes f f f f from. There were so many really amazing things that they did in the k k comics 
um, so at SDCC this weekend, there was apparently an announcement somewhere. Um, I have not been able to verify too much beyond uh, the fact that I have seen two covers for this, uh, the regular cover, and I'm assuming an alternate cover, for the new Power Rangers series that's going to be led by, uh, or it, 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 it's going to be produced by Boom. So Boom has kind of re-signed with uh, Hasbro, or they've, they've re-signed a, a, a contract to let them keep doing it, and the new series is going to be called Power Rangers Prime. And everyone is, uh, or at least the discourse that's going on right now, is talking about the idea that um, they're going to reboot Mighty Morphin Power Rangers again, which they keep doing over and over and over again. Uh, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie... The first movie they made in like 96 was a reboot of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. It was a completely different continuity, different g -g 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 group. It was interesting. It was fun. It wasn't a great movie, but it was fun. Then you had the 2017 reboot. Um, uh, originally, uh, the Netflix series, which is no more. Uh, Netflix is no longer going to be d -d 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 doing it. The series itself isn't dead quite yet. Uh, Hasbro is shopping it around to other p -p places. I think I, I heard some rumors that uh, Prime uh, might be thinking about p -p 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 picking it up, which would, would, would be a big deal. Um, but that was going to be a reboot to Mighty Morphin p -p 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 Power Rangers. Um, the, the comic series was a reboot of Mighty Morphin p -p 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 Power Rangers. Um, and now everyone is claiming that Prime, uh, Power Rangers Prime is going to reboot Mighty Morphin Power Rangers yet again. And people are getting really, really sick of the constant, the fact that we keep coming back to the exact same characters over and over and over and over again. And to be blunt, the reboots just generally don't work. Uh, I've, I've talked about this quite a few times before. Uh, the 2017 Power Rangers movie had some interesting things about it, but it was created by people who didn't love the source material. I don't think any of the actors were fans before uh, they got kick-a-cast. Um, it was obvious that the writing team uh, were not fans of the show because they did everything that they could to change as much as physically p -p possible while still leaving enough little bits and b -b 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 pieces in there uh, to be able to claim that it was Power Rangers. And because of that, they just didn't understand uh, the show, and, and it went really, really b -b 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 poorly. Um, now, the movie itself, it's not a bad movie. Uh, I own it. Um, I've watched it many t -t 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 times. It's a fun enough m -m movie. The issue with it is it's not really Power Rangers. Um, it's an interesting idea for, you know, a bunch of delinquent teens that get super p -p 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 powers. But that's never been what Power Rangers is. Um, uh, when you look at the Boom Studio uh, reboot, it was really, really uh, good, 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 good. But that was because they really cared about the store, uh, the source material. Uh, the the first Power Rangers m m m movie, um, again, is not a g -g 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 great movie. Um, but it was made by the exact same people. They just got a shit ton more money. Um, and instead of trying to explain why the movie looks so much better than everything else, they're just like, no, we can just tell our own story and do some cool, fun sh -sh shit. And it worked fine. But we see these reboots of things over and 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 over again. again. And they're just, at this point, they're just not working. Um, and if the uh, Power Rangers series, and I, I, again, people are getting really, really sick of just getting to hear about Zach, Trini, Billy, Kimberly, and Jason again, except they have new faces, and then waiting for Tommy to show up. And I, I can't say that I really blame them. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers was my first Power Rangers. It, um, 
I'm still a huge fan of Tommy. Tommy is my favorite ranger. Um, Jason David Frank uh, was, uh, from everything I can tell, was a, a phenomenally uh, flawed but uh, wonderful human being. Um, and uh, rest in rest in power. Um, but yeah, I I love that. But you know, I also love Mystic Force. I thought Mystic Force was a phenomenally amazing series. Um, the only thing that I didn't like about Mystic Force was the Red Ranger just was not a great Red Ranger. Um, and I don't think he was a really good actor just in general. Everything else about it, I loved. I thought there was a nice kind of balance between the kind of campy silliness that is Power Rangers and more serious stuff. Uh, most of the characters had some pretty interesting character arcs. Like, it was super, super fun. Um... I really, really loved Power Rangers in Space. I thought it was amazing. Power Rangers Lost Galaxy was okay. SP, or not SPD, um, Lightspeed Rescue was one of my favorite Power Ranger series for years. Just because it was a very different take on the Power Rangers, I thought it was really, really f -f 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 fun. Um, nowadays, I tend to. As far as plot is concerned, I tend to have a few more Sentai series that I think are really amazing than I do Power Rangers series. Um, la 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 like. Uh, I really, really la la like um, uh, Lupin Ranger versus Pot Ranger, uh, which is their cops and robbers themed one. Uh, the most, the second most recent one. What was it called? Uh, King Oger. King Oger, I thought, was really, really amazing and cool. Um, so I think if... If, if we want to continue Power Rangers... And again, this is, this is a problem with comic books in general. When you look at like the major comic book uh, prints just across the board, they've been using the same characters over and over since the 60s. Uh, yeah, they, they introduced like, new mutants and stuff like that uh, for the X-Men. But the X-Men... Like, the current X-Men roster... Um, because they just announced a new uh, uh, X-Men print run. Uh, the current roster has Cyclops, Cyclops, Gambit, Beast. Like, these are all... Like, Cyclops has been there since the 60s. Gambit uh, joined, I think, in the 80s uh, or 90s. Um, you look at DC Comics, you know, Batman's been Batman, been Batman since, again, the 50s or 60s. Superman, same th -th 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 thing. Captain America, going back to Marvel, Captain America, Iron Man, uh, Thor. Like, we are so used to just having the same damn characters that exist for 50 or 60 years that I think... the idea of creating new kick characters because they do create new superheroes every so often they never last for very long with a few very rare exceptions um like even the ones that um were really well received things like like miles morales was remarkably well received um and he still exists in the marvel U -U universe but he's not uh he doesn't really show up very often. Um, most of the other, like, especially more recently, most of the new additions to uh, Marvel uh, have mostly been... have been publicity stunts. Have, have been what they... 100% what they were. They were not meant to be good characters. They were they were meant to make a statement about something, and they the the characters themselves were extremely one dimensional, uh, 
stereotypes of the, the things just meant to make people feel good about supporting this is something as opposed to actually creating good writing um so yeah with with the whole power rangers prime and reboots in general um again i like the mighty morphin power rangers and i like uh, I particularly like where this storyline has gone because they have been slowly progressing um, through the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers this is a series. Like they introduced the White Ranger, they they uh, introduced a new Green Ranger a couple times actually, which was cool. Um, but I'd like to see them go into Zeo. I'd like to see them go into Turbo, and then I'd like to see them just stop using these rangers uh i would love to see a comic book that doesn't have a tv counterpart you know um something that was really really cool when uh, hyper rpg did their power rangers hyper force uh series which i loved i watched live i used to uh interact uh i even uh, gave the production team some ideas that I think they used a few of my ideas. I don't know if they were good or if they had any benefit to them, but I do know in particular that one of the ideas I had, they they used to... to, 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 to um, they, they actually utilized. And I have no idea if it was, it was actually good or not. But, um, but yeah, Hyperforce continued on in comics. I think there was a couple like single issue runs where Hyperforce members. I'd love to see a Hyperforce k k k k k k comic um, to continue off some stuff there. Or I'd love to see Boom Studios create their own Power Rangers. Um, I would love the new Power Ranger series to not be retreading Mighty Morphin P -P Power Rangers. I'd like them if if they really want to stop because that was that was the big thing uh, with uh, the new Power Rangers is they were just not going to be using any Japanese footage anymore. They were going to be creating everything in house on their own. Um, and if that's what they want to do, if they really do want to separate themselves from Super Sentai, um, which I think is a net loss for the brand itself because I think one of the most interesting things about Power Rangers is the fact that it is something that was taken from uh, a Japanese sh sh show and they basically kind of rewrite uh, or create new stories using you know other people's f -f footage and I always thought that was a really really interesting thing but if they're going like you know what no we don't we don't want to be beholden to uh, Super Sentai anymore. We want to make our own things. That's great. Then actually make your own thing. Create a new Power Rangers to the team. If you want to start a brand new k -k 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 continuity, go for it. Create a brand new Power Rangers team. Create their their costumes yourself. Create the Zord ideas yourselves. Create brand new characters. That is something that I think would be really, really cool and interesting. I don't see that happening. Um, fun fact, I recently saw numbers for the highest grossing movies, uh, this year. Um, the top five movies, three of them were animated, which I thought was really, really good, 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 cool. Uh, because for the longest time, uh, including the, the number one movie right now, uh, in the world, uh, I believe is still Inside Out 2. Um... So the idea uh, that animated movies are just not popular or anything is complete bullshit. Uh, three of the top five grossing movies of the year currently are animated. However, five of the top five movies are either sequels or parts of a series. Um, that's what makes money right now is people don't want to create something new they want to continue something that was already p -p 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 popular. Um, and I think that's the biggest problem that uh, all these reboots and things like that are having right now is because you have a bunch of people that want to make something new, 
um, because I think it's 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 been really really obvious uh, with some of the just really batshit stupid uh, decisions that I have seen um, in comics, in television, in movies, and stuff like that, um, where a company wants to create something new, but they don't think it's going to be popular. And so what they do is they take something that's already established and then import their new, their new story into this world. And what it ends up doing is it just bastardizes a bunch of k -k 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 characters and it makes random changes because the story that you want to tell, the characters that already exist don't fit into the story that you want to tell. So you just take already established characters and you change them drastically so that they can fit into the story that you actually wanted to, 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 to tell. Um, and I think that's been the b -b -b biggest issue that all this, this stuff is happening is, is, is these, these people want to tell new stories, but either they're not allowed to or they're too scared to tell new stories. And so they take old stories and then tell, or they take old franchises and try to tell their stories. <clears throat> Excuse me. Wow. That was not fun. fun. They take old franchises and try to tell their new stories in these old f -f 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 franchises uh, without understanding that the reason that these new stories were never told in those old franchises is because they don't fit in those old franchises. Um, and so I, I firmly believe if they do try to reboot Mighty Morphin P -P Power Rangers as opposed to creating something new, invariably what it's going to become is... None of the characters, aside from their names, none of the characters are going to represent, or uh, not represent, are going to resemble the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers cast in any way, shape, or form. Like, the 2017 Power Rangers reboot, Jason was not uh, anything like Jason Scott Lee in the TV show or in the K -K comics. Jason Scott Lee was a martial artist. Uh, he was a good, good student. He was a natural leader. Um, Jason in the 2017 uh, uh, Power Rangers m -m -m movie uh, was uh, a football p -p 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 player. He was a bit of an asshole. Um, uh, he was self-centered. Uh, he was not a natural leader in any way, sh shape, or form. And that's part of the arc that the uh, the movie tries to tell is him learning what leadership is, and they just do a really poor job of d -d 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 doing that. Um, and so the only reason you could tell that he was supposed to be Jason was he had the same name. And so again, it was this company that we want to tell a new story, but we're not allowed to tell new stories. So we're just going to take... Uh, a franchise and we're going to tell this new story using their characters despite the fact that the characters don't actually fit in the new story. So we're going to change everything. Th thing. Um, Kimberly uh, in the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers was not just a gymnast. Uh, Kimberly was uh, a remarkably skilled gymnast that eventually uh, starts working towards uh, going to the Olympics. Um, it was a massive, massive part of uh her character was just the the amount of work and pride that she took in her gymnastic skills um kimberly in the 2017 film was a cheerleader uh who spread around naughty pictures of her f -f 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 friend as a way to get revenge on her not a good character uh yeah like everything ab 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 about it just it wasn't good um, from a characterization and comparing it to uh, Mighty Morphin P -P Power Rangers. If they hadn't used that, like give them, you know, give them robot suits or something, don't call them Power Rangers, it probably could have been a, uh, a cool movie that would have been a lot of fun. And it still was a fun movie. It just wasn't Power Rangers. So anyway, I've been rambling long enough about this. So... What are your guys' opinion on... Again, I've heard nothing other than the name and some covers for Mighty Morphin or uh, Power Rangers Prime. So I don't know if it's a continuation of the series or if they're rebooting it. Um, 
What are your guys' opinions on the new Boom Com uh, Boom Studios comics as a series? If it is a reboot, are you okay with a reboot? Do you think they've kind of beaten that story as much as they can and they need to start over fresh? Uh, or uh, would you prefer them to do this is something else? And your opinion on like reboots in general? Let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, again, it is all for me today. We'll see you guys in the next time. All right? Bye-bye.